Can $12 save the default Laminar 747? In today's FS Elite review, we will see just how much difference an F mod for the default 747 can make. Welcome to this FS Elite review of the Inabuild's default 747 GE CF6 Sound Enhancement Pack, which hereafter we're going to call FMOD for brevity. I'm Tim. And I'm Lee. You might know us from our channel, Flight Brothers FT. Now, if you've ever flown the Laminar 747-400, you're probably familiar with this pre-flight experience. The Laminar Default's fully rendered cockpit includes many movable dummy switches, but the same generic sound is applied for virtually every button click. Now let's try that same power up with the Inabuild's F mod installed. The buttons now make realistic and varied sounds, just like the Payware Boeing's or Zebo Mod 737. The cockpit sound environment is now fully immersive with the sounds for the throttles and the handles. All the knobs and switches. And don't forget those cabin chimes, a personal favorite of mine. Yeah, you would ding them the entire flight, wouldn't you? Air circulation and uh, presumably system cooling is also added on the flight deck, coming in automatically with the external power or the APU. We both felt like the sound was a little bit louder than we wanted it to be, but the sound does accurately check out with uh, cockpit videos we have seen. Generally speaking, if you like the sounds of buttons, switches, and handles, you are not going to be disappointed. Inabuilds has given an excellent flight deck experience here. Departing the cockpit, we now have a flight deck door sound. Moving through the cabin, you get aircraft ambience, which wasn't included in the default. And I don't know about you, Tim, I noticed this more, especially around the galleys. Yeah, um, the galleys seem to have more of a machinery, equipment running type sound than uh, the seating areas. One of the things I like is the lack of obvious conversations and understandable words in the ambience. Uh, while talking is part of the real environment, uh, having it in there, especially if it's on a longer flight, which is something you're likely to do in this aircraft, you might start to notice that it's a track and that may actually detract from what it's supposed to do. Uh, there is some faint music buried in there as well. Uh, it seems to be a little bit louder near the midship doors. Inabilds has also included in the cabin a sound for the Easter egg that Laminar gave us of Austin Myers, the creator of X-Plane, in the lavatory. The lavatory doors open using the shift and F1, 2, 3, and 4, etc. keys. They might have made this particular sound a little bit too realistic, though. So, uh, now let's check out how the F mod has changed the sounds and the externals on this aircraft. The original Laminar Default just had X Plane's generic jet engine sound, and that lacked any real 3D effect which really for something as uh, big as a 747 was very disappointing. And with the new F mod, it gives us a range of new sounds and 3D effect. We're gonna run a couple of examples here for you. The APU startup and idle. Now on to engine startup. Engine spool to full power. I did notice if you take the throttle from idle power to full um, quickly, that 
you, you get a pitch change that seems a little bit unnatural. However, if you do a nice smooth advancement, uh, the audio transition really follows quite nicely. And from inside, you get a good fan noise from about 95% in one. I don't know if you heard those uh, as well, Tim, but they're also mirrored inside. So when you're in the cabin, especially near the front of those engines, uh, you hear the pitch of the fan and behind the wings, you get more of that thrust. Right, I found the uh, engine sounds to be very satisfying, especially in the higher N1 levels. And finally, thrust reversers. Uh, they act and function sound as you would expect them to. I also discovered today playing around with it a bit more. The APU also has a shutdown sound, but it does take you a few moments to get there. A lot of times you wouldn't notice this in your pre-flight procedures because uh, after it's had its cool down time before it actually spools down, you're already engines running and on taxi out and probably too busy to notice it. But I had just turned on the APU and shut it back down and a few moments later caught that sound. So that's pretty much the tour of the sound pack and its features. So let's talk about the question we posed at the very beginning. Can $12 or about 10 euros, which is the price of this pack, save the mm -hmm. Laminar 747-400? We've been frequently seeing on the sim forums this question. Is there a good 747 for X-Plane? Well, after that, some argue over the quality or whatever of the SSG 747 uh, 8 Intercontinental. Uh, there's rumors, of course, of various projects in development. I think Classics, possibly a Dash 1 or Dash 200. And then, of course, you have the Laminar, the one that we all have naturally come up. So when you get into the threads on the Laminar 747-400, the same complaints come up, and this addresses one of those. Right. I mean, the main thing that everybody can't stand, the default FMC... Uh, not that it won't get you there, but it just doesn't do all the special features we've gotten spoiled with on things like Zebo and Flight Factor, uh, as well as the VNAV is pretty sketchy on that default. And then the sounds. The sounds just really kill the immersion. And there's a few other little things, you know, the model's not holding up uh, compared to like the 747-800 that came out. This is just obviously an aged model. But for $12... Or 10 euros you can stick in this f mod and all of a sudden you have resolved one of the largest issues with this so uh what's your opinion lee do you feel that this is money well spent is is it worth it to you to upgrade this old but free bird yeah i i think as much as you interact during flight with different switches you know fuel pumps etc that what this brings to it is going to help. Um, if if you're looking for a 747, if you're one of those people that you don't want to fly the default 747 because of whatever, just I, I don't want to fly it, it's not good enough, this probably isn't going to be enough. However, if you're one of those people that are on the fence, you're looking for a good long hauler, this is available, uh, you know, good luck buying a payware aircraft for 10 bucks. You know, you're adding a little bit more realism to it. Right, and you already hit the niche I'm in. I was one of those people who was still flying the default because I actually I actually kind of like it. I was always disappointed by the sounds. You know I'm a real sound geek. Sure. Uh, so when I found this, I was like, I have to have it, and it has not disappointed me. So if you think you're interested in picking up this F mod, the link will be below in the video description. As always, leave your comments and feedback for us, and we will certainly get back to you. Be sure to click the like and subscribe button to FS Elite for more high-quality content. And if you want more from Lee and I, you can check us out at Flight Brothers FT. Remember, plan the flight. And fly the plan.